Hello my crafty friends, this is Jen with One Crafty Mama coming to you to show you this easy no-sew shaker card made with a CD envelope and I'm showing you the one that I put into my daily journal for December uh, but we're going to make a different one that's a little bit easier as we're using a sticker that I received in some friendly mail and here is the blank envelope really quick I was showing you that we'll be using to make that and all I did is I stuck them down with some tape onto a regular piece of paper and sent them through my inkjet printer. And then after that's done, we'll be wiping off the excess ink on the vellum side of it with a wet wipe or a baby wipe. Um, and that's it. So here we go. We're going to pick a sticker here and I go with the, the snowman. And I've pre-made my mix here with some sequins and some punch outs that I've punched with my snowflake punch. I have some glitter, I have some white, and I have some reflective uh, paper that I've used to punch those out. And uh, check your junk mail envelopes for those. I had some great ones that came in for some, C uh, for some uh, credit card offers that I ended up using. So here you see me wiping off the excess ink off of the vellum part of it and uh, getting ready to pull that off. I had to dry it off a little bit so because it was wet and you can see here that I got it on the paper a little bit with the baby wipe that's okay because we're going to be adding some glitter uh, to that area so it'll cover it up if you're not going to add glitter or something around the border you might want to be mindful of that not to get the wet wipe too close to your paper okay so here we go we're just kind of seeing how that fits on there and you can see it fits nicely I also received this great wide washi from my friend Jesse, and I uh, thought it'd be a great opportunity to use that. And it's got this nice music note pattern on it that's not too large. You can see it just barely covers the circle um, cut out on the CD envelope. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it and cutting it off. And uh, it's not very sticky, so I'm going to add some extra glue to that with my glue stick and get ready to put that into the envelope um, just making sure I get all the edges covered because we don't want any of those lifting because then your sequence will get stuck to the um, sticker side of that and you don't want to have any sequence stuck in your envelope that's no fun and you're gonna see me struggle quite a bit here with this <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be so sticky and I apologize, of course, I start doing a voiceover and a train comes. So we have trains in my town that come every once in a while. And yes, there it is. You can hear it. So continuing on with my struggle, I finally get it down. And I'm just flattening out the wrinkles there. And I'm just showing you, you don't have to make things difficult like I did. You could have just cut a piece of paper and glued it in just as easily. But I like to make things difficult for myself. So here I'm just trying to see how that's going to look. And I mean, I guess you could add the sticker to the outside if you wanted to, but I chose to put it on the inside. So I'm just trying to get it separated from the paper there to go ahead and put that in there. And it's very sticky, so I'm not worried about it lifting. So we're not going to add any extra glue to it. And I'm just going to do my best to keep that envelope open while I insert it in there and get it lined up somewhat even. I don't try, I don't aim for perfection. I just eyeball it and that's good enough for me. So that looks pretty good and I'm happy with it. So we're going to move on to the glitter and I'm going to just grab my glue here in a second oh i wanted to show you on the back mine had this little thing to tab to hold the uh, flap down if you have that on the back of yours you want to be mindful of that if you're not going to be adding this directly to a journal page you're going to want to put a piece of paper on the back of that glue it down so that you don't have any sequins or uh, goodies escaping the back of your envelope after you're done so I also have this wood cut out that I painted white and I grabbed a bad one, it had a chip, so I grab another one. I got these a few years back when I made some, um, when I made some uh, snowflakes for my tree and I just painted it white and then I have these little gems from Tim Holtz that I got at Tuesday morning that I'm going to add to the middle. 
And I'm also showing you some tiles that my mom gifted me a few years back when I made this Scrabble tile uh, ornaments for my tree. I did a few and she found these black ones and I didn't know what in the world to do with them at the time because uh, I didn't have anything that would go with them. I just used the regular Scrabble tiles to make mine. So I thought this was a good opportunity to add it to my shaker because my snowmen kind of have a darker outline to them and that will tie into the background as well. So I'm kind of just playing around with placement, seeing what I want to do. Um, and here we are talking about the glitter. We want to add the glitter first before we go ahead with embellishments. So I'm going to get out my Eileen's Tacky glue and add it around the border here. And once you get that around, you're going to want to kind of smooth it with your finger a little bit. To even it out we don't want it to glob out anywhere and it also helps to make that glitter kind of look more snowy and not so clumpy so I'm just smoothing it out here and then we're gonna add the glitter I just chose like a pearl essent glitter that I had in my stash it's probably oh I'd say at least 20 years old I've been holding on to it forever it's one of those things that I haven't gotten rid of as I change crafts <laughs> it's one of those staples I've managed to hold on to. Um, I don't know if you do that, but as I change crafts, I seem to get rid of things to make room for the new th new crafts or things that I'm doing. So this one has stand the test of time, but any glitter will do. And I'm just going around lightly as possible around the edge. I'm not a fan of glitter normally, so this really bothers me to use glitter because I hate the way it gets everywhere but I can't resist the way that it looks on a snowy scene for winter. So we're just tapping as much of the excess glitter off as possible and save your glitter. Try to put that back into your glitter bottle whenever possible to reuse that. And I'm just showing you there how that looks. And we're gonna give it a second here to dry. So I'm gonna put that back in there and move on. So much fun dumping glitter. I'm still wearing glitter, by the way. <laughs> Put that lid on, don't forget. And I'm just wiping off my area. Again, I said I hate glitter. It's true. <laughs> so we're just gonna let that glue dry and we're gonna move on to the inside of the shaker. So my secret to these shakers to get your goodies on the inside to move around is to use these little small foam squares. You can either cut your foam tape to a small square shape and add it to each corner is what we're gonna do. Or if you have a Dollar Tree and you shop there, uh, Dollar Tree sells these little mini squares in their crafters corner section and I'm just telling you that I'm adding a little drop of glue I chose to use my art glitter glue to one side of that um, because you don't want your uh, foam square to lift after you've closed everything up and then all of your shaker glitter and such will stick to them or they'll end up floating around with your shaker um, embellishments on the inside so I'm just going to add those to each corner and I'm trying to show you there how I added it way down in the corner as far as I could and I'm going to add those to all four corners by adding a little bit of glue and then tacking it down I did end up only putting glue on one side and just hoping it all goes well for the other side it was too difficult to add glue to both sides because the glue just got to my finger but at least with the glues on one side, hopefully if, you know, it lifts at all, the, the foam tape will still stay tacked down to your envelope. And this is just the best way that I've found that it um, helps lift your envelope with minimal effort and minimal tape or extra layers. Because it only really lifts the corners. And that just gives you enough of a little pocket there so things can move around a little easier and don't get caught in the crevices so much. And that's, that was always my issue or battle that I had with making shakers in the beginning. So all I do is I just dump all of my contents in there and try to get the little mini stars that I had. I had some mini gold stars that I had put in there with my sequins that I had gotten from a party table scatter. 
and then I remembered that I forgot to add some beads. Um, some miniature beads do help with also moving things around and it just adds an extra element of texture as well. So I'm going to grab some beads and add a few different colors of blue beads in there and I think a couple white. And um, some people I've seen, um, some of my friends have been making these as well because we're getting ready to trade them and they've also added like large um, like large sequin, um, I'm not sure what you would call them, but they're the um, plastic tile size, like the center of my snowflake that I'm going to add on the end. And they come in butterflies or, or stars or whatever shape you want. You can add those as well or anything. I even thought of, um, you know, Dollar Tree has those seasonal necklaces that have stars on them or they'll have shamrocks for... Uh, St. Patty's Day or flowers sometimes in the summer you can cut those off individually and add them in there as well if you want to uh, do that and that's just an extra way to save some money and have some different variety in your shakers it's all up to you I just prefer the sequins and the paper punches and I mean, the goal ultimately when you're trading with friends is to try and keep the postage down as much as possible. So I'm trying to keep this as flat as possible so that I can stick it in an envelope and send it to a friend. So you see me just gluing down the bottom here. You can use any old glue. I'm using art glitter glue because it dries really fast and it's great for tutorials. But that's it. As you can see there. Um, you could stop there if you wanted to, but we're going to add a few more embellishments to the front. Um, so I'm just using some fabric fusion. It just helps to hold these chunkier embellishments down a little bit easier. It has a little bit more grip. So I just add a couple daubs here and there. And then kind of smooth them out so that it doesn't glob out when I put the snowflake down to the envelope. So you see me there smoothing out the glue. <laughs> Gotta love glue on your finger. And I place it down there. So you can add anything you want to the outside. I mean, you could even add just some fussy cut uh, embellishments or paper. You know, if you had, I don't know, some snowmen that you wanted to add to the outside to give it a more 3D look or maybe trees or uh, maybe have some banners that say Merry Christmas. It doesn't have to be such chunky items that like I'm adding here to the outside and that's something you want to keep in mind too if you are planning on sending this in the mail. The chunkier or uh, taller your shaker um, stands you know when it's laying flat the more postage you're going to have to add to your envelope so this one i might just gift to my neighbor that uh, she usually gives me homemade cards and so i might end up just giving this one to her so i'm just adding the tiles there they had some double-sided tape already on the back of them that was really strong so I'm just kind of playing around with that and then I'm going to decide if I want to put that black snowflake that it came with there or not and I just kind of undecided I felt like it was unfinished but I ended up just leaving it as is I think it looks pretty good and that's it you've made a shaker easy peasy no sewing uh, minimal gluing as far as I'm concerned and because it's in an envelope shape, you've already pretty much had it pre-made to begin with. You just added some pretty embellishments and your shaker items, and there you go. So I hope you enjoy that video, and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.